How's it going everybody? Jake and Chris here for Dude Ranch DIY. We are out in the wood yard today. Believe it or not is the very next day from the last video that you just saw where we split over a cord of firewood. What are we going to try and do today, Chris? We're going to try to get another cord. At we least another to, uh, cord, right? We got to finish the stuff that we had underneath our uh, future uh, canopy. And then uh, we got a whole bunch we of... We got even more stuff to, over there. Split stuff, yeah. So yeah, as Chris said, we got a little bit left underneath the new log splitter pavilion to split up. And then we have a whole nother trailer load over there that I stacked up to get out of the way. And then if we're ambitious and we get through that, which I doubt we will, we have a whole nother dump trailer load all down there, all cut up, just like that stuff. But in anticipation of having to move the splitter from here to over there to make our lives a little bit easier, we have a flat tire, so we got to put a little bit of air in that. That way it doesn't stop our mojo while we're uh, splitting. The splitter's all warmed up. Tractor's warmed up. Um, I actually had the rear tires of the tractor loaded today, um, which is something I've been wanting to do for a while. I kind of said that I would do it myself, but I got a really good price on it, and I just figured it would be easier. My time spent, um, you know, to just have them do it. So you can see... Um, it's, it's, I don't know, that's like the remnants of it. I guess they put 30 gallons in each tire. So each tire, that equates to 310 pounds, 620 pounds total, they said. Um, they came right here to do it. Um, it. Like I said, it was just a lot easier and quicker for, for me to have them do it rather than me, you know, waste my time trying to figure out how to do it. Um, so that's done. I think we're going to have a lot more ballast in the tractor now, 620 pounds to be exact. You ready to get splitting? Let's do it. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff. This baby's been flat for a while. Probably time for a new tire. Hopefully there's enough air in the tank. It does not. I don't think that gauge really works. Well, I'd say we're out of air. Yep, it seems like we're out of air, but you know what? That's better than nothing, so we're not going far. Oh, because I turned it off.
Okay guys, one small tote and we still got some left. That was uh, more wood than we thought. Probably wouldn't, probably would have overfilled even a large tote too. I guess Chris is trying out the ballast here a little bit, lifting the tote up high. But uh, for those of you who saw the video, I unveiled the 500i. I just found another big nail in this same, this was like the same load. So I don't know if there was like an old fence or something running through, but it's pretty much dead center in the, in the pith of the tree. Big old nail. All right, we're gonna keep going and uh, hopefully we can move the splitter over to that and start starting on that stuff. Okay guys, we just got done splitting up all the wood that was in this here area and plenty of, plenty of room for activity. So now we can truly see the size of our roofless splitter shelter. But uh, that was a lot more wood than it looked. Yeah. Uh, we basically got a half a cord here, maybe even a little bit more. We filled up one small tote and definitely at least half of this large tote. Um, so you know, three of the totes equals a cord. Uh, so we can get that out of the way and probably move the splitter over here. And I think we'll, we'll probably just finish off this tote, uh, see how ambitious we are, but at least get everything ready to split over here and polish off this tote. What do you think? Now, now everything that was underneath here was just one trailer, right? That was all one trailer, trailer. yeah. So we got pretty much a little more than a cord and a half out of yeah. it, right? Uh, and and that was all logs because yeah, what did we do logs. yesterday we did two two small and a tall two small and a tall so we did three small and a tall and a half yep so that's you know <laughs> give or take you know a cord and a half cord and a half yeah. yeah and that was all logs um so this stuff should be a you know play out to be about the same um so yeah let's get going it's it's getting dark but we got lights. Okay guys, we got the splitter on the pallet forks. Chris is driving the tractor, trying to navigate it out over to this new spot. All right, guys, just like that, we are in position. I think this stuff's gonna go fast. A lot of it's smaller diameter. It is right behind Chris. That's why I stacked it all up with this plan in mind. Got the tote here, got the O-light, got the two big tool rack magnetic lights. Let's get this thing fired up and this tote filled. That way we can go uh, crack some banquets, huh?
All right, guys, we are done. It felt like that <laughs> second half of the tote went way faster than the first half. Yeah, it did. Um, you put a pretty good tent in the pile. Yeah, yeah, I mean, a lot of it was like right small here. diameter stuff. Just, just the, boom, boom, boom. Those and... pieces that you just push through once, you yeah. know, that doesn't amount to a lot of wood, but boy, does it go fast. Yeah. You know, I, I feel like you almost be interesting to do an experiment, separate it out, and like see how fast it takes to split a tote of just the small stuff versus how, you know, and then count the pieces in each, you know? Yeah. Like if you have 20 large pieces and 60 small pieces, time and, you know, see. But we probably won't do that. It sounds like a lot of work to orchestrate. Yeah, and, a little too uh, much for today. Yeah, definitely too much for today. <laughs> and we, we, we keep it real here. We, you know, we, we're not staging many things. No. If any, <laughs> we really don't stage anything. Um, <clears throat> we don't have the, the wherewithal to, or foresight to do that. But anyway, we got a small tote and a large tote done today. Yep. So that's five totes total that we've done in the past two days, two days which is good. Starting to restock the wood yard road here with totes. Yeah, it's been looking a little sparse. We've, it's uh, been looking, we sold a lot of wood. Yeah. The firewood stand, I got home today. There was a guy buying a loose stack. Yeah, a couple um, of loose stacks are gone. A couple, couple bundles, bundles are gone. gone. Yeah, so um, actually the plumber that came by yesterday, because I told them in the beginning of yesterday's video mm -hmm. how the pipes burst. Yeah. But the plumber saw the Brute Force FB16 firewood bundler and he, see, see I'm in your light. I got to, uh, no, 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 you're, 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 you're blocking my, my eyes. It was great. Oh. <laughs> no, um, you're fine. You need me on camera. But anyway, he, he was like, oh, do you sell these at gas stations? And I was like, no, I would really like to. He was like, oh, I do the plumbing for a family that owns three gas stations in the town over from here. He was like, I said, oh, awesome. Grab, take a bundle. So I made him a bundle right there, showed him how it worked. He said, oh, I'm going to talk to them. We'll see. Maybe we can get you into one of the gas stations. So that would be cool if we could get into one gas station. Yeah. I don't know about three gas stations. But I don't know. We'd, we'd that have would to be a lot of kind of stop the... The bulk, the bulk stuff and just do bundles but yeah. bundles pay baby so so i'm sure that was more of a uh business conversation but what did he think of the the bundler oh he thought it was really cool yeah he was like wow that's betsy's tangled up in an ivy oh, yeah. he was like wow that's i didn't know what this thing was i was looking at it but i i also didn't know that that's how they make these things <laughs> i was like yeah well you know the ones that are wrapped in saran wrap I'd imagine if they're not Most doing it by them. hand, they're using a bundle or some kind. So yeah. that was pretty cool. If you guys haven't seen uh, the Brute Force firewood bundler that I have, uh, go back into some videos and I have videos using it. It's great. The guys at Brute Force over there are great. They make some awesome machines. So check them out, Josh and Jeff. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it. Tomorrow we're headed up to finish and pick up the conveyor. So we will definitely be documenting that. Um, so look forward to that. We're also going to show the new to me, us trailer that uh, we got last or made the deal on last week. We're going to go pick that up tomorrow and use that to bring back the conveyor. It's going to be a hell of a lot easier than loading it into, into the, the dump, dump trailer. trailer. <laughs> yeah, this trailer is a lot bigger. Um, so that's just a hint. Um, that's it. I don't have anything else. It's time for some banquets and we don't have any out here. We were not prepared. Nope. So anyway, as always, guys, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, click the subscribe button down below. Any new subscribers, welcome to the channel. We got 300 something videos. Go check them out. Questions, comments, or feedback on anything you saw here, the machine, you know, the new table, whatever. Um, put it down in the comments section. We love hearing from you guys. I really do. I love getting the emails and the comments. I try to reply to everybody. If I don't reply to your comment, I'm sorry. Don't take it personally. I might have just missed it. But for now, I'm Jake. And I'm Chris. This is Dude Ranch DIY. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you here next time. I think your voice sounded a little bit. You were yelling. I was getting you. excited. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I really... Yesterday our outro oh my God, was... Oh a banquet. I gotta go drink it. No, yesterday our <laughs> outro was like six minutes long. <laughs> <laughs>